Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artonian TV. Real quick one for you today. Uh, this is from Soul663, I think. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, 663, yes. Um, very strange object here. On the side of this kind of slope here. Uh, there's what looks like a strange carved gorilla type um, statue head, or it may even be a fossilized head of uh, some sort of creature or alien great ape or something very similar who knows I can't really tell with this one also uh, before I, before I rush into this and show you the enhancements I've done there's another image here of the same thing it's much much darker and this is what I would call a typical piece of evidence uh, in a set of images here's one of the images here at the bottom now look how bright and, and light these are here um, the luminosity is fairly typical of what you normally see on Mars, very very light and sunny. And then all of a sudden we have some dark, much, much darker images here, just a few here. And then it goes light again. Let's go further up the set, nice and bright. Then it goes really dark again, only for a, a, probably a few minutes. It starts getting darker here and then real dark here I mean you, if you try and enhance any of these images you've got no chance because they're so dark and then it goes suddenly goes light again what is this well as a few people have noticed recently and there was uh, something I showed in one of my previous videos uh, of clouds on Mars this is this could only really be caused by low cloud to go that dark in the space of a, a few minutes and then go light again the only possible thing that could cause that would be p low passing clouds if they were very high wispy clouds right up cirrus clouds right up in the uh, high in the atmosphere they wouldn't make much of a shadow because they'd be too thin this is a low level cloud causing this um, they may not be very big clouds but they, the, the cloud that caused this much shadow would have to be quite dense to block out the sun in such a way if you look, just look at how dark these images are. I'll just have a quick look at one here. Let's quickly have a look at that one. And let me show you how dark this is. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. See, look how dark that is. Now, this is actually quite common in a lot of the Curiosity uh, rover images. If you, if you go through a lot of the sets and just randomly pick any set you like... Um, you will probably come across some like this which are and, and you tend to get a whole bunch of them that are really dark then they sort of go light again afterwards so is this more evidence of, of low cloud on mars water perhaps could be just thought i'd throw that in quickly right let's quickly go to the enhanced images i've done of this strange rock and it may well be a rock um i'll show you it in paint shot first now we're, we're, compare the two images look at the difference in luminosity here now this isn't really dark this one on the right here um, but it's a lot darker than the one on the left here which is taken er slightly earlier on only mat a matter of 20 minutes earlier or ten five or ten minutes even so there's not much time difference between these um, but as I just showed you the, the luminosity in some of these photographs is very very different and that could only really be caused by low passing cloud passing over Gale Crater and blocking the sun or partially blocking the sun out um, for a few minutes and then blowing past thought that was interesting I'll show you a, 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 I'm gonna keep this real short I'm, I'm just gonna show you the clip I've taken of, I've taken this one from the brighter image here this is always good if, the, if an image is dark it takes a lot more to, to enhance the uh, image and, and get any detail. I've just clipped this out and enlarged it. Use the bilinear enlargement, which you should always do with these images because it actually cleans them up. Um, if you if you do uh, a sort of bicubic or smart size or whatever, then it won't clean up the image. If you bilinear enlarge, it gets rid of a lot of the pixelation straight off the bat. So, well worth remembering that if if you can. Um, so yeah, here we go. I mean, this what stood out about this for me was the fact that the center of gravity on this on this rock if it is a rock is very odd 
um, it looks to me to be some similar to some uh, sort of strange gorilla type uh, skull even this could be a fossil don't know um, it could be a carved rock and it, it seems to have eye sockets here these dark parts here these look like eye orbits there seems to be a nose here and there seems to be some teeth in here as well mouth and teeth just about make out some teeth there and a very very pronounced cheekbone here now this could well be carved it could just be a rock I'm but what I'm, what I'm getting at here really is the fact that it it looks top heavy and it looks like it should fall over so it, it must be it must be a large part of it buried or something that's holding it up and stopping it from falling over um, it just seems really odd the way it stood there on, on this kind of slope here's the enhanced version this will end up on the cover you can see here I've drawn around it here we've done my usual stuff I've drawn around it select selected the uh, the object drawn around it and brightened it right up and gone in with a bit of contrast and sharpened it um, not a great image this because you can see where some of these squares are from from the, the where the image was resized by NASA you can see a lot of these blocky squares in the image but it's not bad because it's quite large this thing was over a foot tall I'm guessing between one and two feet tall possibly about one and a half 16 inches or 14 inches don't really know exactly it's not that far away from the rover so it's it's not bad detail but it's not brilliant because they've done their best as usual to ruin most of the information in the image by poorly resizing it and over compressing it blah 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 as I keep saying uh, so there you go that that to me looks very much like uh, some kind of strange great ape like a baboon or, or a sort of gorilla or something along those lines couldn't tell you exactly I have found others recently um, on Mars uh, I'll just quickly show you one of those if you haven't seen it already just down here there he is Mars giant ape now, I'm not saying this is definitely uh, oh hang on sorry <laughs> okay get rid of that uh, let's get the effort I should have lined this up first really sorry about this I'll just, I'll just skip through to it and get the enhancements there we go so yes I mean it may be related to something like this this is a different shape different species by the looks of it this still has hair on it Mars Giant Ape Hairy Gorilla Skull uh, I have found quite a few ape skulls up there in recent uh, months uh, this is one of the best ones this is the largest so it could be related to this in some way who knows um, let's go back to the raw image there's the darker one there's the lighter one I'll put the links for these underneath as usual in the description and yeah is this evidence of passing clouds on Mars this this um, let's go back to the set here look how dark some of these are now only a low light a, a low passing cloud would actually make it go that dark a high wispy high very high altitude cloud wouldn't really make much of a shadow like that so this is I'm pretty convinced evidence of clouds and low clouds possibly even rain clouds on Mars okay uh, if you're a researcher out there and, and, and uh, want evidence for this there's you can see this in many sets of images Sol 50 is a good one for it there's lots of dark very dark images in there as well where it suddenly changes luminosity so there we go thanks for watching everybody and I'll just show you that I'll just quickly run through these enhancements for you just to show what I've done. There's the raw image. There's a selected part drawn round and contrast up. And then clarified and brightness up again. And you can see, I was getting nice and close. You can see what look like teeth here. Looks like a canine tooth there sticking down, a sharp one. Looks like a nose here. And two eye sockets. I've, I've brightened up some of this to bring out some of the detail around the eyes and I think that's pretty cool could be carved could be a fossil who knows what it is really it could just be a rock but look at the way it's leaning it seems to me like there must be something underneath it that's holding it um, in that position to stop it falling over okay there we go thanks for watching everybody I'll see you soon